you set the standard, you have a goal, you have a vision, and you rock. That pride you get to express in your community with joy, smile, and laughter. That's what this is all about. Paddleboarders from across California come together to celebrate the life and memory of Jay Moriarty at the Jay Race. The race is really important to the people of Santa Cruz because one, we get to celebrate this hero of ours, but also because all the proceeds go back into the community through nonprofits throughout the state and programs like Junior Lifeguards. The race is particularly important to me because of the people that are involved. Kim, Frosty, Duke all helped raise me in this ocean community. About three years ago, I got really sick. My heart and my immune system started working against me. And when the people of the Jay Foundation heard about this, they came to me and offered their support by paying for my, med uh, my medical bills. And uh, what followed was completely amazing. They gathered together organizations throughout the community to hold fundraisers, races, sell t-shirts, whatever they could to support this cause. And it was a total success. The story was bigger than just mine, though. What it was was the Jay Foundation showing its ability to galvanize support from people all over the, our ocean community to support a particular cause. And I really think that it's just the start of something much bigger. Santa Cruz County is just an amazing place for community. And that's really what the Jay Foundation to me is, is just passing um, the torch or passing your interest on and supporting all the, all the different people that are part of it. There's a community for them that anyone can join, whether you're a paddler, a surfer, a water person or not. I don't think there's a community that takes as much pride in where they're from as, as we do here. I don't exactly know why that is, but the benefit of it is that if you're from Santa Cruz or close with the Santa Cruz community, there's a lot of people who will do pretty much anything they can in order to help you out if you really need it. If you don't really need it, I don't know. But if you really need some help, there's a lot of people who will do um, almost anything to make sure that you have what you need, you know, to get better or overcome some challenge. It was so cool to see the community lined up along the kelp to see you come in and everybody was a team member, right? And it continued to be, so it was like, it was a perfect time to use you as an example of what the Jay could do. How do I thank an entire community of people that has supported me my entire life? When I got really sick, I had to give up things that were important to me, like swimming and paddling, which I'm not able to do to the same degree, but what your support allowed me to do was to take the next step, uh, which for me was pursuing a master's degree abroad, and now I'm able to do that here in Denmark, and I'll be in Hamburg next year. I think the biggest way I can say thank you is to take that community of support that you've shown me and extend it out into all of the new people I meet and, and in all the new places I go. So, thank you. Part of what Jay left as a legacy is smile, be joyful, accept, well that one didn't work, 
but I'm not stopping, I'm not giving up. 